hunting is a, a new expression of Heller's sort of feral virus-granted abilities. Hunting allows Heller to track down uh, just about anyone in the city once he has a scrap of information or a name or a piece of DNA or something like that that allows you to find people across long distances. Hunting is, is one of the most empowering feelings in the game. Uh, you know, most games, you know, they put a marker on somebody in the world and you're like, okay, that's how I'm supposed to get. You've already told me. It takes all the fun out of it. Uh, but hunting, really, that pulse is just, it's visceral. I mean, you hear it, you feel it, you, you see it, uh, and then you just keep honing in, you're honing in, and you're honing in. And then when you see your target and it highlights off of them and you can see their nervous system and you're just like, that's my guy. We sort of played off of the idea of of radar or, or sonar or organic version of that where from great distances you'll send this sort of sense out into the world and you'll get this visual wave of the world back big cascading circle like throwing a rock into a pond so from a player's point of view you find yourself looking for the highest point in the city so that you can kind of view your surroundings all around you send out this pulse and use that as a way of basically narrowing in on the target that you're looking for. To be over the top of someone, right, on a top of a 40-story building and to send out that pulse and to see them glow in the middle of the crowd and then just to leap off the top of that 40-story building and plummet straight down to the ground, right on top of them and just immediately go into beating them down, right? I mean, not only is that scary as hell for the guy that you're, that you're consuming, but imagine what the people around that guy's reaction is, right? Someone just fell out of the sky and landed on a guy and ate him. James Heller is a hunted man in a city inside a police state, and so he's very much on his own. Um, and so he's got to find scraps of information and details about this conspiracy and information about what Blackwatch and Gentech and Alex Mercer are doing uh, in any way he can. One of those is by hunting people down and consuming them with their memories, or to go up to one of these black net terminals, these big satellite vans, uh, and use that person's access codes to log onto the network and figure out what project they were working on and then to go find that project and destroy it. We wanted to give the player that opportunity not just to be able to seek out their target but to find out about their target in the first place. So this kind of talks to this concept of Blacknet, which is very pervasive throughout the entire Prototype 2 experience. Blacknet is the encrypted data network that Gentech and Blackwatch use uh, for all the secure transmissions and all of their uh, projects inside of the NYZ. It's interesting the way all of these different pieces kind of come together, that you go from going to a vehicle in the world and hacking into it to gain details of the operation through to then launching into a very specific mission because you've found out about you know a, a certain operation that is going on in a dark corner of the world and then by putting a stop to that you gain rewards in the form of mutations. Mutations are another new way in which the virus expresses itself in, in James Heller. Um, Mutations are exactly what they sound like. They're something that change your DNA, they change your cells, they change your chemical makeup. Um, they are an always on, always running plus to your character. Um, whether that's something that allows you to jump even higher or something as simple as being bulletproof. It allows you to define your own character, define your own progression through the story based on what you think is the most beneficial uh, upgrade for your particular playstyle and character type. Mutations are actually stackable, so they're they're an additive. Uh, so you'll actually find that you know when you start combining, you know, jump farther do two air dashes, you know, I mean, you'll start to see that, that, that by them being additive and stacking on themselves, you actually become more and more powerful and actually can do a lot more and more cruel and crazy things. Right